Okay, I read your post. Try here. Not sure what quite what you mean. If you mean slanted in plan view or, or slanted in a camera view, but I'm going to take it both ways. I just drew a box here in the Home Designer Pro uh, 2015. <clears throat> There's cut several ways to do this depending on what you wanted to do. Now these are just perpendicular walls, as you mentioned in your post. Let's take a look at this. Uh, in a dollhouse overview camera. Yeah, okay. Now you can, I'm going to select this uh, one wall here, open this dialog box, go to the uh, railing tab, and we're going to call that selected wall a railing, and I want it to be a solid railing. Just click OK. You select that. See, that's, that's one way to do that. And you can open the dialog box <clears throat> of the wall and go to Newels and Balusters and vary the height or control the height. Like it's at 36 right now, I'll make it 54. <clears throat> I'm going to open it again. And uh, you can go over to the rail. Let's see. Where is that? <clears throat> No, that's not what I want. Put that back to solid. I wanted to uh, suppress the rail. Uh, in Chief Premier, there's a, a rail tab, but I don't see it here. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We'll go to the Materials tab and look at the rail. Material setting is set to Snow White. I'm going to uh, change that to <clears throat> Drywall. So that basically makes it disappear. See that? Where is that? Uh, I forgot what that is. You do it uh, with the uh, plan material. This is the D key to go to draw. There it is. So it basically makes the uh, <laughs> makes that rail disappear if you set it to the same material as the wall top. And uh, newels and balusters, you can uh, vary, like I say, vary the height of a solid railing. That's one way to do it. Now I'm going to take this and un unprogram it from being a railing, so it's just a wall again. And in Home Designer Pro, you, you see these little handles when I click on the wall polyline. Those can be uh, altered. Now, you can't do this in uh, architectural, but you can do it in Pro. So you can actually alter the uh, angle of a wall like that. And click on this again. So whatever you want, whatever you want there. We'll click on this wall here, and hit the tab key. There. So that's what you can do in Pro quite easily. Now there's such a thing as slope softness where you can get uh, a similar effect, but just the wall polylines gives you quite quite a bit of uh, ability to uh, do some unusual things. You can't do slanted walls this way. That Yep, that has to be done in Chief Architect Premier with uh, something other than the wall tool. But in in, in Pro, <clears throat> uh, this is what I thought of. I'm not quite sure uh, about exactly what you want to do, but this is a couple ways to uh, do different things. I'll turn this wall here into a solid railing by opening its dialog, make it a railing, and... See, I get this rail style. Yeah, solid. I got to answer the phone. Thank you.